Hi, this is Dina for Split Coast Stampers. In this tutorial, I'll show you another way to use your stencils for mixed media backgrounds. I'm going to start off by pressing the stencil into my cardstock to create a debossed print. So I have my base and a silicone embossing pad, then heavy cardstock, my stencil, and then a cutting plate. And my machine allows me to adjust for different thicknesses but you may need to shim or adjust your plates as needed. Just make sure the embossing pad card and stencil are in this order when you run your sandwich through. So here's what that panel looks like. And for this technique, you can use either the front or the back of the cardstock. So that's kind of fun as well. Here's another stencil that I tried. I've got some heavy pigment inks from Clear Snap that I'm going to use for this first sample. And you can use any acrylic or craft paints that you may have as well. I'm just going to drizzle and drip these colors onto my panel. You can use two colors or three colors, but I wouldn't use more than that because you don't want to create mud. And you don't need to be perfect by any means on this step. Just make sure that there's a little bit of color everywhere, kind of evenly spaced around the panel. Once you have your color down, take a plastic card with a hard straight edge and you're going to scrape those colors down into the design on the cardstock. And this takes a little practice, but I've found that I get the best results with the fewest amount of strokes. So if you can avoid going over the surface multiple times, you'll have the most variation of clean color. The more you go over it, the more the paint mixes and you'll start getting lines and inconsistencies in your background. So try to work it as little as possible. Here's the card that I made using that panel and the dyes and supplies that I used will be listed on the photo tutorial page and also on my blog if you're interested in those. And then this card was done using the same stencil but working on the back side of the panel so you can see the difference there. One more sample and this one is done with a more open stencil and with some craft acrylic paints that you can find at any big box store. And the results are very similar there. The main difference is that the craft paints will dry more quickly, especially after they've been scraped into a thin layer. So I hope you have fun with this technique and I thank you so much for watching.